What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got an extremely important AMC update for you guys. So in this video, we're going to be covering the most up-to-date utilization and short interest numbers because those have changed and I want to let you guys know exactly what is going on with those. We're also going to be going over AMC postponing their shareholder meeting and exactly why I think they have done this. Now there's a couple of theories floating around and I want to just give you guys my opinion on exactly what I think is happening. And in addition, we're going to go over why AMC's earnings announcement this week is not as big of a deal as some people are making it out to be. We're going to go over the entire situation, and then I'm going to try to explain to you guys in the simplest way possible why the earnings could uh, potentially be a distraction. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Webull valued up to $1,850, make sure you check out that link down below in my description. And if you guys enjoy the information and analysis, that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So at the current time that I'm recording this video, AMC is trading at $9.27, uh, down about 4.5% uh, on the day. Now, the main reason why a lot of these stocks are falling today is because Janet Yellen came out and essentially said that she wants to see interest rates rise in the near future to deal with this inflation. Now, this is really affecting all of these yield sensitive stocks. And those are essentially the hyper growth, smaller cap stocks uh, that we talk about on this channel. So the, uh, that's really not a great sign to see in the short term. If we did see an interest rate rise, that would uh, cause probably a significant sell off uh, in some of these stocks. But overall, I think we are still in a great position for AMC and here is why. So when we come over here, we can see that the estimated short interest as a percentage of the free flow is still at over 22%. Now, the previously, we did see it at 23.88 and we did see it get as high um, as over 24%, if I remember correctly. And when we come down here, we can see that the utilization is now back at 100%. So yesterday, we saw this number fall, uh, which essentially means that there were more shares available to be lent out. So the utilization is essentially the amount of shares that institutions are willing to lend out versus the amount of shares that have already been lent out. So now we are sitting at the max value again, uh, but we did see yesterday that the shares that have been returned to these institutions were then lent out, scooped up and shorted again. So now we are sitting at 100% utilization. So theoretically, the institutions cannot lend out more shares, but we are still seeing naked shorting on the market. And I'm going to prove that to you guys a little bit later in this video. Now, coming over here, AMC Entertainment Holdings reschedules its annual meeting of stockholders to July 29th. That was supposed to happen today, but they have rescheduled this. So let's see exactly what they were looking to vote on at this annual meeting. So when we come over here, the first was to approve an amendment to our third amended re and restated certificate. This was the 500 million share uh, addition. This is now off the table. So this is no longer being voted on. So then it's to elect our board of directors, uh, the fo to, to elect to our board of directors, the following nominees for terms expiring at the 2024 annual meeting. And these are the individuals to ratify the appointment of Ernst & Young LLP as our independent registered public accounting firm for 2021. Now here, to conduct a non-binding advisory vote to approve the compensation of named executive officers. And then they want to approve an amendment to our 2013 equity incentive plan and to approve the adjournment of the annual meeting to a later date or dates if necessary or appropriate to uh, solicit additional proxies if there are uh, insufficient votes to adopt the proposals. Now, uh, this seems like this is what is going on right now, but let's go over a couple of theories on why AMC would want to reschedule this meeting. So the first, they saw so many votes come in, way more votes uh, than, than there were supposed to be, meaning that there are way more shares out in the market that they are thinking to themselves, well, we might as well keep pushing this date back to see how many actual shares are actually out in the market and owned by retail and institutions. So I want you guys to think about this theory very logically. So if you look at any of the online forums, such as Reddit or any of the chat rooms on Webull or any of the other places that you guys can uh, converse with others or Discord, 
We've seen people time and time again, essentially every single day, buying more shares of AMC. Now, the executives at AMC are not stupid. They understand uh, the situation that is going on at the current time, and a lot of the retail investors are continuously buying. Now, that would give them more voting power because they own more shares. Now, if this original vote came in and they already saw that there were so many more shares uh, in votes that came in that there was supposed to be, they obviously know that if they push back this date, it's just going to get even worse. So it is possible that they are looking to actually blow the top out of this situation and push back this date about two months to get a better understanding of how many shares are actually out in the market. Now, that is a theory. And here is another theory that is also being circulated around. So as we saw in in this actual uh, voting thing right here, so to approve the adjournment of the annual meeting to a later date or dates if necessary or appropriate to solicit additional proxies if there are insufficient votes to adopt the proposals. It is possible that they did not get the votes that they wanted to on one of these uh, different, go, coming back here, on one of these uh, specific topics that they wanted to vote on. Maybe they got too many yeses on one that they didn't actually want to get approved, or they got too many no's knows um, on something that they really wanted to get approved, which I think is a very likely possibility. So now let's get into this earnings situation. So before we get into that, AMC's earnings are still happening. When we come over here, AMC's earnings or they're going to announce their first quarter 2021 results. And here's the date right here, Thursday, March 6th, after the market closes. So that is still on, even though they postponed their shareholder meeting, AMC is still having their earnings. Now, if you guys have watched any of my previous AMC videos, specifically over this last weekend, uh, I really have been talking about how this week for AMC is going to be a really big week for FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And we are seeing that not only in articles being published, about AMC, but in the comment sections of a lot of our YouTube videos. When we come over here, uh, we can see that a lot of people um, in these comment sections were trying to get people uh, to sell AMC on Monday, uh, and we didn't fall for this because, honestly, we are a very smart uh, collective group um, of investors. And then the other thing that I found very interesting, as we can see by these screenshots, a lot of these comments are trying to get individuals to transfer over to Robinhood. Now, I never give any financial advice in these videos. These are all just my opinion on what is going on. But I just want to point out to you guys, I'm still not going to give any financial advice because that is not my role here. What happened with Robinhood the last time a squeeze took place? Did everything go smoothly? Smoothly, Obviously not. They shut down trading. You could not buy. And even when they turned on buying again, you could only buy, I think it was two to 10 shares of a certain uh, amount of stock. So uh, Robinhood, honestly, for the situation that we have coming up, I don't think is the best brokerage to have. So let's connect this back onto what is going on and what could happen over the next couple of days leading into AMC's earnings. So what the hedge funds and institutions who are short AMC are currently trying to do is lower retail's confidence in their conviction on their AMC position. Now, we've seen this happen a couple of times. We do not have concrete evidence of this, but all of the facts lead to that all of these institutions are underreporting the, the actual amount of shares short that they have on AMC. Now, we can kind of prove that by looking at uh, the, the FINRA reps website on how short interest is reported. We've gone over this a couple of times, but the gist of it is that it's self-reported. So it's in the hedge funds and institutions' best interest to come out and directly lie to the public and say that they have a lower amount of shares sold, sold short, that's kind of a tongue twister, than they actually do. And what that could potentially do um, is actually make retail think uh, that there actually isn't a squeeze going on. But but the whole thing that you really need to think about is, is that the institutions and, and, and hedge funds are capitalizing on a specific date where there is expected to be a lot of volatility in the share price. But what I want you guys to kind of think about is what is actually going on with this situation. Retail owns a significant amount of the shares of AMC. We can see when we come over here that the failed to deliver numbers back in April are massively spiking on a couple of these days. And when we come over here, we can see that the actual amount of shares on the OTC markets for, for AMC is actually decreasing. So this was the month of March and this was the month of February. Now, there are a couple of reasons for this. 
uh, we, we are seeing the, the utilization continuously go up for AMC. So if a lot of this volume um, on, on these over-the-counter markets is short volume, we would expect to see less uh, amount of the, a less amount of shares being shorted on these markets. Now, if you've been around uh, a couple of these different Reddit threads over the past day, you've seen that people that are overseas are having trouble buying shares of AMC because the brokerages cannot get their hands on the actual shares. So for me, really, the only uh, things that I'm really going to focus on a lot in AMC's earnings report is going to be the conference call. If the numbers, the earnings, uh, the revenue and EPS numbers come out come out really strong, that's great. That just gets us closer to the inevitable squeeze that we have coming up. And we are obviously going to see a lot of bullish uh, comments from the CEO, Adam Aaron, in this earnings call. If the numbers aren't that great and we do see a sell-off in AMC, in my opinion, that doesn't change anything for what we are trying to accomplish here. So that is going to conclude this update on AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.